So while some people think the new Moto G Stylus is trying to compete against the likes of Samsung and their Note series, there's actually another phone with a stylus that Motorola is aiming to steal some sales from, and that's LG with their Stylo line of phones. Well, today we're gonna see how the new Moto G Stylus compares to the more established LG Stylo 5. And I'll leave a link in the description below with current pricing and more information on both of these devices. One thing I noticed right away is the difference in speaker quality and speaker location. On the LG, you have a bottom firing speaker, which isn't bad for just having one speaker, but Motorola takes that one step further and added a second speaker up where the earpiece is, making it not only louder than the LG, but it has a better overall balance and sound and just makes watching videos that much more enjoyable. When it comes to which of these phones have the better camera, it's actually closer than I thought it would be. First off, if you want the phone with the better front facing camera, go with the Moto G stylus. It's not really that close. The Moto G has better resolution to show more details and it's just a better camera overall. When it comes to the rear camera, things get a little bit closer. Here's a few examples to give you an idea of what each phone can do. The Moto camera seems to have a little bit more punch and contrast and color than the LG, but you can get decent photos from both of these with the right light that is but once you throw in the macro mode I've got to give the slight edge here to the Moto G stylus when it comes to which is better for gaming this is where things get really close on PUBG mobile the settings are the same for both they use the lowest graphic settings with medium frame rates and I tested both of these phones on games like Asphalt 9 and Call of Duty mobile as well and they both played pretty smooth without issues or too much choppiness. So if you're wanting a cheap gaming phone, both of these would be acceptable in my opinion. Although when I did the Geekbench test, the Motorola was definitely more powerful in both single and multi-core scores. When comparing screens on both devices, they look pretty similar at first glance. They both have 1080p resolution, but the Moto has a larger display with smaller bezels and better viewing angles. So again, I would give the slight advantage to Motorola in this category as well. Now the one category that most people are probably wondering about is how the stylus works and what software features are included to use with the stylus. Well they both actually work pretty good for a budget device, but I've got to tell you the sensitivity is not what you're going to get with higher end devices. I'd probably have to give the slight advantage to the LG, which isn't a surprise since they've been doing it longer just because they have a couple more apps to use than the Moto G, and they can even add shortcuts there on the side to a lot more apps in the settings, which is definitely a nice option to have. I will mention though that the LG stylus definitely feels more like an S Pen, and the stylus on the Moto G is definitely heavier, but again, they both work pretty good in my testing. So while there's a lot of similarities in these two phones, I think there's just too many areas where the Motorola comes out on top, especially with 128 gigabytes of storage compared to only 32 gigabytes on the Stylo 5. Plus it's got better cameras, better battery life. I did a battery drain test on both of these devices with the screen brightness at 100%, streaming continuous video, and it wasn't even close. The LG only lasted seven and a half hours compared to 11 hours on the Moto G stylus. 
the LG Stylo 5 only lasted 7.5 hours compared to 11 hours on the Moto G Stylus. And a little more power as well. While I think the Moto G Stylus can improve on stylus features and sensitivity. Now sure the LG is a lot cheaper right now because it's been out for almost a year. I just can't think of any reason you would choose the LG Stylo 5 over the new Moto G Stylus. Although I do like how the build quality is on the LG, just because they use the metal band around the edges instead of the shiny plastic material on the Moto G Stylus. So if you've made it this far into the video, you may want to say thanks by subscribing and don't forget to give a thumbs up if this video was helpful. This is Brian from Fishbee Productions. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.